Now today we are going to be doing the battery life drain test of all these iPhone models after updating to iOS 16.2. Hey what's up guys, this is Mehran from Dynamic Tech. So the iOS 16.2 is already here and now we are gonna find out the battery backup of iPhone 8, 7 Plus, 8 Plus, iPhone 10, 10R, 10S Max and iPhone 11. Now in this battery test we have iPhone 8 Plus with highest battery health. We will talk about that at the end of this video but first let's see how will it perform on iOS 16.2. So without wasting any time, the brightness is set to almost 30%. We are using the Wi-Fi network, all of them all seem free. And the iOS 16.2 is also installed on all of them. Okay, so now we are going to be using all these applications each for one hour. I will be showing you the battery percentage after every hour. So sit tight, just enjoy the music and let's see how will they perform with iOS 16.2. you must be thinking how the iPhone 8 Plus can perform like that but anyway first let's talk about the iPhone 8 with 79% battery health ended up at 3 hours and 6 minutes because 79% health is too low and I will never recommend any iPhone below 80% battery health. The iPhone 7 Plus with 95% battery health give up at 4 hours and 29 minutes which is not bad as we have seen before 7 plus usually not perform like this but this time it did pretty much good because of 95% battery health. The iPhone 10 with 83% battery health give up at 5 hours which is enough because 83% battery health is also not that good. Then comes the iPhone XR with 82% battery health, did almost the same as iPhone 10 and died at 5 hours and 1 minute. Now this time the iPhone XS Max failed to beat the iPhone 11. This is just because we have 80% battery health and I will never recommend the iPhone XS Max below 85% battery health. Otherwise this is what should you expect with on screen time. And now the legend iPhone 8 Plus really impressed me and I have never seen iPhone 8 Plus like this before in 2022. This is just because we have 95% battery health which is quite rare. So if you can get the iPhone 8 Plus with 95% battery health then it's totally worth buying because this one ended up at 5 hours and 38 minutes which is quite impressive. The iPhone 11 with 85% battery health gave up at 5 hours and 49 minutes. It performed better than 10s Max because we have 
higher battery health on iPhone 11 and that's why I will prefer at least 85% battery health for any iPhone model. So that's it. Now hopefully this one would help you to know a little bit more about the battery timing of all these iPhone models according to their battery's health. Let me know in the comment section right below if you have any queries in your mind. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.